My relationship with God when I was younger is like, I wasn't in relationship with him. And I just know the stories, know the verses, but never applied them to my life. It was uh, 2019, it, I was just feeling, I guess, unloved by, by the people around me. And I started to isolate myself. When COVID hit, it like then caused all of that to just go way worse and it's just cut myself off. It's like I wouldn't talk, I wouldn't talk to my friends from school anymore. I barely go upstairs to talk to my parents. I just sat there wasting my life away on my bed. The depression did eventually evolve into suicidal thoughts where it's just like this weight on my shoulders just pulling me down to this like pit of suffering and this idea that I don't deserve love, that I'm not worthy of it. At that time, I felt towards God this like anger and I felt like all this pain caused in my life and the, the world around us that he was the cause of that, that if he's so in control, then why would he cause that kind of thing? 2021, things just started to progress worse. There's more troubles in life and my heart really just became cold to people and it really caused my suicidal thoughts to really progress into wanting to actually act upon them. And it caused it where days I would just like, I don't know, stand by the train tracks waiting on my way to school as wondering if I should jump on or not. In the beginning of 2022 is when I started having these dreams. I constantly like attack and just this like this evil coming over me. And I don't know, it just gave me the realization that it wasn't God that caused all the evil in the world, but is truly like the enemy, the the sin in the world that is the root of the evil and it's not by God. After these dreams is I wanted to pursue God, but I had no clue how to. Then in the, the June, July, I got invited to raising camp by my cousins. The first day was really just enjoyable. It was like, I felt very welcomed by my cabin members, my leaders, and that cynical mindset I had where people don't desire to be around me or want to be with me kind of just like started to fade away on that day. On day two of Risen Camp, it's like end of service. We, I was there praying and my brother was next to me. We had our arms around each other. We just prayed the prayer of like, we want to commit our life to Jesus. And it was relieving. It was like, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. My heart softened. I just felt not cold to people. On day three, the Holy Spirit night day, in the morning service, there's a mention of Jericho and what is the wall that you have up against you that is holding you back from God. The Jericho in my life was, I still carried on to the thoughts that thinking that God doesn't love me, that I'm not worthy of his love, still turning back to that old mindset. So on Holy Spirit night, I was just there worshiping, my arms up, my eyes closed. A leader came up to me and is like, he placed my, his hand on me and just, said, God, take away his Jericho. I just felt everything crumble away. And just like, I know I felt embraced by God that he truly loved me for who I am. Because it's once I went and prayed with my cousin and my brother, it's just me there praying with them. And it's like, I had my head down and it's just, I was crying out and just like the tears that fell down my face. It's like every time I felt a drop, it's like the burdens of my life were just being pulled away by God. God made me free from my pain and my suffering and just after the service is like the suicidal thoughts were gone the depression gone the anxiety just gone it's like god tore it away from me it's like i felt truly myself again i felt like i was human i felt towards god such love it's like i felt like he was truly my father after risen camp i found myself reading my Bible, going to Risen every week, inviting my dad, my sister to church. I just felt this peace within myself. I was confident with who I am. And my life now is just, I'm trying to just be loving to my siblings, be there for them. I know I have faith in everything that God does. I know to just put my trust in Him, to love Him, to serve Him. I look myself, even a year ago from now, it's like, I'm truly a different person made through Christ.